Hi everybody, The Right Shooter here, and today I want to talk to you guys about the Lee 3 Jaw Chuck for use with the Lee trimming system. So, what I've got here are a couple different calibers, so I can show you guys kind of the range that this thing will accommodate. I've got mine set up with this spindle here that'll let you insert it into a cordless drill. I believe this works just fine as is with the zip trim. Uh, I do not have one, so I couldn't tell you for sure if you've got to get an addition, additional... Uh, spindle that'll attach into there but it, i think it should work just fine you could definitely go check out the websites check out midway.com and they would be able to tell you for sure i know there's a lot of other videos on stuff like this so you could check those out too so what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert this into the cordless drill here loosen this up a bit i'm going to show you kind of again the range so i've got right here this little 22 guy uh, obviously you wouldn't be reloading for a uh, 22 rimfire or anything like that but just to kind of show you the range i'm going to insert it in there Tighten this thing down, and you can see it holds that just fine. Now, on the other end of the spectrum, I've got this 7mm Remington Magnum, this big old belted guy. So from the 22 all the way up to this thing, and I'm believing you could go even bigger, I just don't have anything, uh, you, you're not going to have any issues with any of that stuff. One thing I did want to mention, which I really probably don't have to, is if you are reloading for 50 BMG, this is not the system for you. You would not want to be trimming up something like this with this anyway. And if you thought you could get away with it, don't even think about it. That's not even close to fitting in there. So you're going to want to get an actual uh, tabletop or a table table mounted trimming system. Something that will handle that. So we're going to set that out of the way. I've got this little 308 that I've already sized. Little in comparison to that 50 cal. So we'll insert this into here. Now I did size it, I've already trimmed this already, but I'll kind of show you how it works. So you've got your, your loaded brass or your, uh, your sized brass in there. With this, you're going to need to make sure you have the Lee trimmer. Mine's got the ball grip because it just makes it a little bit easier. And then you will need the length gauge for each caliber that you're reloading. That would be the one drawback for this, is although it's easy to switch out different, different calibers with the uh, three jaw chuck, you're still going to need to change out these length gauges for each caliber that you have. So really the advantage to this is, in my opinion, it's a bit faster than the collet system. Just because you drop the thing in there, tighten it up, and you're good to go. So anyway, once you got it in there, you insert your length gauge in the trimmer. And you're good to go. Nothing to it. So again, this just pops out. Drop it off. Insert another one. Size. Drop it out, insert another one. I mean, you can see how easy that is. You don't have to worry about lining it up into the collet or anything like that. So it makes it real simple. Like I mentioned, the one drawback is you do need these length gauges. I reload for about eight different calibers. Um, so I've got the gauges for those. If you were reloading maybe a dozen or more calibers, you would probably want to go with the dedicated trimming unit or the adjustable trimming unit, trimming system. But that works fine for me overall because I haven't had to purchase too many of those gauges it is saving me a bit of money and it works just fine and this system is very very fast um, I can go through a hundred cases in in a half hour uh, no problem so I definitely like the the zip trim or not the zip trim but the three jaw chuck I'm sure I'd like the zip trim too I just don't have one so check it out if you guys have any questions feel free to leave me a comment uh, I wanted to say thank you too to all the people that have subscribed. I definitely appreciate it. I'm very humbled that so many people have come in to check out my videos. If you like what you see, uh, again, definitely hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys soon.